Police arrested four students and eight other people that day. This new body camera footage gives us another look at the rowdy celebrations. Move back! Move back! Move back! Move back! Police in riot gear showed up on the University of Dayton campus this St. Patrick's Day. This is not going to go good. Witnesses on scene described the crowd as rowdy. Students stood on the roofs of porches, and beer cans and broken bottles lined the streets. University officials had said in a statement a large crowd was throwing things at police and not responding to police commands. In a statement released with this new video, university officials said police officers and Dayton police faced an extremely difficult and dangerous situation with professionalism and care. They reacted with great restraint when rocks, bottles, fireworks, other projectiles were thrown, some striking officers without protective gear. The crowd ultimately dispersed peacefully with no major incidents or injuries. Are you having a good day? When it was all said and done, UD police arrested four students and eight non-students for alcohol-related offenses. 69 UD students were also referred to the university's student disciplinary process. Nine people, only one of whom was a confirmed UD student, were transported to the hospital. The university also referred two students from other universities to their respective disciplinary offices. This wasn't the first time St. Patrick's Day celebrations got out of hand. A similar incident took place back in 2013. Dana Smith, 5 on 2.